Hey guys, I just wanted to inform you what this video actually is. So this is me going over the command block and data pack on how to make this god bridge data pack. And what it really does is it basically puts a block underneath your feet like the scaffold hack. But it's in vanilla with like no actual hack so it won't give you a virus or anything. So that's just what this video is. Sorry for this uh, cut in but I don't really explain it very well. So that's what it is. Keep watching if you want to know more. Hey guys, Super Silverstone here. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be looking at this one command block creation that I made, and uh, also it comes with a data pack if you would like to install it. So you've seen the title and you have seen the thumbnail. We are going to be making a God Bridge data pack, and yeah. So this can be made with one command block, or this can be made with the data pack that I have linked in the description, which is out right now. You can go download it. So we first have this one command block block. So this is the block that we are going to be using, and this block is basically what the data pack does, but the data pack has a little bit of some extra stuff that you can install and uninstall, and all those, you know, things like that. So, to start off, what we're going to do is we're just going to want to basically put this. This will, all of this command will be in the description down below, which you can copy and paste. You're going to put this command in a repeat, unconditional, and always active block. So, you're going to put execute at, at A. So, this is going to execute at everyone. You can do this at a specific player. If you want it to do only one person, you can put it at uh, a random person, so it will randomly do it, or you can put it at the nearest player. Your choice, I want to do at A for now. So, execute at, at A. If block... Uh, curly, curly, negative one, curly. Basically, what that means is that these things, I, I forget what they're called. Uh, maybe deltas? No, I don't think they're deltas. So, what these basically mean is this means your position. So, since we're, we have execute at, at A, this isn't executing at the block anymore. This is executing at the player. So, we're looking at one block below the player. Alright, and the player's feet, we're looking at one block below. If it is air, we are going to run set block negative one, so underneath us, Minecraft course dirt. And we have it running, and let's do this. So this is exactly like a scaffold. If you've done scaffolding before, uh, or you have done the scaffold data pack, with, or the scaffolding like uh, hack, which is a real thing, I know, it's kind of crazy. It will only replace it if there is air beneath you. So if you want to go up, you can just go up. And if you want to go down, all you have to do is break the block. And if you're up, and you want to go down and there's nothing underneath you, you can just break that one block, and it will automatically place one underneath you. Right? So it's a pretty good method for doing it. Like when you're running on the ground, for example, here, it will place it there. So it is pretty annoying in that circumstance. Um, but it's whenever you're in midair, like, for example, if you, this is like grass, and you want to get down, you have to actually go to it, break the block underneath you, and then you can go. So this would be really annoying for, like, uh, plains biomes. Um, yeah, so that's basically what you can do. I recommend doing this as a challenge of sorts. Uh, but you always scaffold. I think that would be really cool. And you can decide what you want to do with this. But yeah, I think it's very fun. And that's basically it. That's how you do it with that one data pack. Or that one command block. Now, if you would like to do it with... Uh, nope. There we go. If you would like to do it with one data pack, you can do download it and do slash data pack enable data pack. Packs. It might be called something different. And load that in, and boom, this is what you will see. In the chat, you will see God Bridging Hacks loaded. You'll see uh, my YouTube and Planet Minecraft, so in case you want to subscribe, which I highly recommend doing. Uh, and then my Planet Minecraft to download other things. And then the warning, if you choose to upload a video on this topic, please give credit where credit is due. Then there's also this thing, so the only way that this will disappear is if you like so people will know if you're using it i think this gives to everyone at a so everyone will get this meaning they'll know if someone has it on this is just kind of like a i'd say kind of like if you're doing something on multiplayer you'll know if someone has this enabled 
you'll know that because it will be it will have activated. And the reason why I have that, you can disable it in the data pack yourself if you would like, but I have that automatically on because I think it just is a little bit more safer, friendlier, um, and it makes sure that if some that it makes sure that everyone knows what's happening. So that is how to do it. Uh, when you do slash data pack disable or you remove. Uh, the Godbridge hacks activated will disappear, and you will no longer have it. Now, I highly recommend getting the data pack version of this instead of the command block, because the command block will only activate in a certain amount of blocks away. If you have a data pack, it will always run, but if you have a command block, if you go out too far, then it won't run anymore. So I highly recommend getting the data pack version. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to go check out my Planet Minecraft or my Discord link in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.